beautiful singers, this is Valerie White Williams and Vocal Splendor Studios and today I would like to talk to you about help with stage fright. So stage fright is something that comes up pretty regularly for beginning performers. Even those that really want to perform, sometimes those that want it the most get the most nervous. So I wanted to talk to you about a few tips or thoughts to consider when it comes to stage fright. So when we do have stage fright, our body goes into that kind of fight or flight reaction like, ah, we get shaky hands, we get narrow breath, sometimes we don't, can't eat, we feel like we're going to throw up. These are all really common reactions from that fight or flight. So because I guess performing feels like a threat, that is why we have that body reaction. So when I was a young performer, I would freak out all the time and I just kind of almost had an out-of-body experience and I didn't even remember my performances. I was that shaky, shaky hands, shaky knees, very, very common. But as I continued to perform, it got easier and easier. So that's the first thing to realize is that you cannot practice performing without doing it. You have to just log in the time and look at every performance you make as another way to get practice performing. Even professionals sometimes get nervous. I don't get nervous very often, I'll admit it. But there are times where I will get a little bit of butterflies and it's usually because there's somebody in the audience that I'm, I'm nervous about. Like there's that one person and they're gonna hear me or I wanna impress them or they don't like me or, or, or those kinds of things. So that's been very rare for me that I have that experience, but it has happened. Or the other time where I get nervous is like, I just don't feel like I've had enough rehearsal. Like, uh, I hope I can do it, or I hope everybody else can do it, and yikes, things like that. But the main thing about performing is that it's totally normal for you to be nervous. I think what happens when people get nervous when they're beginning performers, they go, oh, there's something wrong. I feel nervous, that must mean that I'm not ready to perform, or I'm gonna do a horrible job, or there's something wrong with me, I shouldn't feel nervous, I should feel ready. But that's not how it works. I mean, we get adrenaline when we perform. It's like you have to get yourself up there. It's kind of like sailing. I mean, you might be all excited to go on the sailboat and then you get nervous and you get seasick, but you still want to be there. And it takes a while to get used to the energy of performing. Performing is like a whoosh energy and it's super thrilling and exciting. And so when you feel that oncoming energy, people sometimes get this kind of panic reaction. Instead of like, whoosh, I have this energy and I'm gonna ride the energy. I'm gonna ride this energy. So it's a way of thinking about it. So if you're, you're ready to perform and you're really nervous, don't beat yourself up, say bad, bad person. You shouldn't be nervous. It's okay to be nervous. Say, hey, yeah, I am nervous. I'm all nervous, it's okay. Because that's energy. If you're nervous, you're feeling the energy and you're feeling the anticipation and just allow it to be there, but don't let it break you down. Just go, okay, yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna step up to the plate and I'm gonna do it. Doesn't mean you're bad. The other thing that helps with performing, besides doing it again and again and again, is being really prepared. See, that was the other thing that I would sometimes get nervous. I'd like, oh my gosh, we haven't had enough. I've done a lot of opera companies that are really small budget. And so sometimes we just have to throw it in and pray and hope for the best. And that's kind of gotten me, Tough. I'm just like, okay, we'll make it work no matter what. I don't recommend that for beginners. I do recommend you have adequate rehearsals. I have found with my young students, sometimes they don't have enough practices and that makes them more nervous. For example, middle schoolers that have a solo in the choir and the teacher picks out the soloist the very last minute. They don't want to play favorite. So the very day before the concert, they're like, all right, Julie, I want you to do the solo. So Julie's never done a solo, and then she has to actually somehow manage to walk down at the right time, grab the mic, sing the mic, and walk back up. But they don't rehearse that, or they do it once. And so I found those things also cause nervousness for my students because they haven't had enough practice with walking down to the mic, when to go back. And that's the third thing I've noticed, is sometimes it's the little things that make you nervous. So with my piano students, when we worked on their first recital and they were nervous and they all did great, I was so proud, is we walk, practice walking up. 
So I can announce your name. You're going to walk up the stairs. You're going to sit down. You're going to play your pieces. You're going to get done. You're going to bow. You're going to walk down. So it's not just the playing part, it's the whole process. And sometimes when we don't rehearse that whole process, that's just enough to get someone off the edge. I know that's happened with me. So I now think about from beginning to end, when I get out of my seat to when I'm sitting down, that's what I practice in my mind. In fact, that's another tip. You can practice your feelings in your mind. I do recommend that you practice the technical aspects, you practice your songs, you practice you know, your piano playing, you practice grabbing the mic and sitting down, but then you can practice in your mind. And I'm not just woo-woo here, there's been a lot of research, there's a lot of sports psychologists that do this with sports as well as musicians. So when you're going to sleep or you have quiet time, rehearse in your mind all the steps. And like I said, not just playing, but re think about you're walking up to perform and how good you feel, you feel comfortable, you know exactly where you're going, you sit down at the piano or you stand up and you go to the mic, you look out, you're totally comfortable, everything flows, you remember everything, your voice is amazing, you just don't know how smooth it is, you feel comfortable, you feel good, you get done, you hear the applause, you go back to your seat, you go back to your place in choir, you walk down to the place, and then you're done. And you feel good. So you rehearse that in your mind. You rehearse all of it from beginning to end, and you rehearse how you want to feel. That's the other key element. You don't want to go, oh, I don't want to make a mistake. I want to not bash the high note or miss it or sing on a tune. Don't rehearse what you fear. Don't rehearse what you hope won't happen. Rehearse how you want things to go. This is another key element about preparing for performances. You want to physically feel comfortable, emotionally feel comfortable, mentally feel comfortable, and you can practice that in your head anytime when you're riding the bus. Just think about how rehearse the good feelings and you can even rehearse your pieces in your mind. Singers can rehearse thinking of their song, singing it in their mind. Same with piano players. You can rehearse how your hands are going to feel. You really can do that. And so those are another tool for you to use to work with stage fright. Now the other tips with stage fright is for singers is you don't need to look at people. You really don't. I don't recommend a beginning performer looks at people's faces if they can help it. Look slightly above them, find a spot on the wall like an exit sign or something that's above and beyond. If you look over people's heads, it will look like you're looking at them. So that's another little hack. Don't look down. That always looks bad if you're shy. Don't look right at them. Sometimes that is too intimate and it feels uncomfortable and sometimes people don't like it. If you're auditioning, not every auditioner wants you to stare at them. So they'll tell you if they want you, but just look towards them, but don't look at them. Now, when you're playing a piano, it's much easier because you're focused here and you're not looking at other people. So it's a little bit easier as an instrumentalist because you don't always have to look at people and looking at people can make you nervous. So those are some tips for performing. Just do it. Just make yourself do it as much as you can. You kind of have to log in the hours of performing to get more comfortable with it. And then there are those that are natural. So you just throw them on the stage and like they're funny, it's easy, they never look like they're nervous. But those people are exceptions. Most of us have to learn to get comfortable performing. I know I did. I'm very analytical. I, I want everything to be perfect. I get a little, up, a little uptight. So it's taken me a long time to just be on stage, be in the moment, and, and sing my song and perform or just take care of my business. And the more you do it, the better it gets. So please let me know. Anyone else have any tips on stage fright that's worked for you? I would so love to hear about it. And also thanks for the likes, shares, and subscribes. So if you like this content, go ahead and subscribe and also click on the bell so you can be notified of all my uploads. YouTube does not send out subscription emails anymore, so that is the only way you'll be able to hear about my weekly uploads. All right. Thank you so much. I love making videos for you. Have a great day and sing on.